In rowing is uh, really good for developing the cardiovascular system. It's a strength endurance sport, um, so you have to do a lot of miles, uh, a lot of repetitions in the gym uh, to get the most out of yourself to perform the best at this sport. Who would you like to go? Take me where you want. <laughs> First of all, it's really important to know what you're trying to achieve from every training session. Not my cousin, cousin Barney. No, that's your brother. <laughs> it's really good to start sessions off with a drill. Build up off the back, arms, body, slide, or even off the front. Uh, it's a bit precarious, but challenge yourself. First few inches, legs, body, and arms. Whichever technique you're going for, set it up in the first part of the outing so that when you go continuously you start developing your cardio base for that session, um, you get the most out of it. Prepare for your sessions. Eat well, stretch well, know what you're going to deliver in this particular session. Keep it simple. Whether you're developing your physiology or your technique um, or your mental skills, understand what you're trying to get out of every individual session and put them together over a period of weeks. is a basic sequence of movements put together to form a rhythm. This is the most difficult manoeuvre where you go in different directions of the hand. Not many people can pull this off. So exactly, what, 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 how are you doing it? Yeah. Pulling with this one, pushing with this one, it oh. turns it quicker. It's ever so clever. It's, it's, it's a difficult manoeuvre. I learned yeah. it at rowing school. Did you? How good were you at rowing school? I got an A. Yeah? Yeah, because of that move. Yeah. I'm going to try it again. Oh, I mean it. You're spinning it so fast it makes me dizzy. Barney doesn't know where he is. You can see the people looking at Oh, look. Up. God, it's like... It's getting all. It's like being in a, in a spiral. We're spinning out of control almost into a new nexus of time and space. Barney says he's never done anything like it in, his 12, in all his 12 weeks of life. It looks very dizzy. He's staggering about now. Barney, Barney, you don't have to lie down. Where are you? You're lying under there now. Oh yeah. Oh, he can't take it. He just says, I'll just have to lie under here. Otherwise, I'll be seasick. God, every time you pull at that, the acceleration is incredible. Honestly, if I was. It's, not, it's all in the chest. All if I was not in peak condition, that would virtually break my back. We've got an angry goose following us now. Oh, he's furious, but he can't catch up, not with you. You're leaving him in your wake, literally. This is a top one over too. Is... Oh, look, there's the boy with the burn uh, with the uh, leaky boot. Oh, yeah. The symbol of Cleethorpe. They're about to put him over here. Why is he on there? They're about to put him over there because of all the hooligans who insist on joining him in his leaky boot when he was outside the pub. It's the only way to stop the hooligans getting at him. Oh God, you've had a crash. How did he get out of control like this? You wanted to see this island, There'll have right? to be a maritime inquiry into this. <laughs> Just to see the island. Well, it's good. It's good to get a close up of the island.
Oh. I just wanted to show him how to do it. Thanks. Because although he is gold class, where are we going? Uh, what that way? We go, we go. So the kids. Oh, dang it. Hard left, hard left. Well, the work on the legs is fascinating, Alan. You use your legs. Now, I'm just, you just feel the acceleration now. You got a boat to your right shoulder, on your right shoulder. Because at this speed, if I hit anybody, I'm going to sink. You learn a lot more from yourself in a race situation under the pressure of uh, competition than you ever will from training. have a chance to witness this. So the front end of it is out of water. Like yeah. a 45 degree angle. I mean, this is flowing like surface. going so fast under the bridge to break through the... Uh, well, there is a barrier. It's like a submarine barrier. barrier. But I'd like to crash through it. No, I'm just going to take it at an easy pace because we're getting the home of the boating rig getting too excited. Cleethorpe has not seen anything like this since 1963. When I was last on this I might, I'm just going to take it easy for a moment, but then I'm going to accelerate when we get in front of all the people outside the cafe, all the old folk, and just show off. Yeah, there's no really to show off to right now. No. I'm going to show off. Don't. And you save your best work from as an audience. <laughs> I want to see them stand up and applaud and cheer. In fact, a lot of them get excited saying he's coming back, he's coming back now, he's coming around that corner. Who is the mystery man who put on an incredible rowing display? Today, Evening Telegraph say people stood and applauded. Look, they're already on their feet. Look, you see that? That's the woman with the wheel. She's going to only stand. She'd be on her feet. <laughs> but as it is, she's uh, been stuck. And a lot of the others are very elderly, so they can't easily stand. What's a boat? Head into a boat. But the ducks can appreciate it, the geese can appreciate it. Shall we go in? Yeah, I think so. See, you can see somebody who's worked on the boating lake. I've got your job. 
<laughs> there you go, guys. Thank you.